Hey everybody, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here and it is wild, wet. That's oh, beautiful. It's perfect big green egging weather. I mean, there isn't any weather that isn't perfect for big green egging, so get out there and start cooking. Um, so, people seem to like street food. So we thought we'd do some street food today again, but with an Indian theme. Uh, so today, and tell us by the way if the sound is too loud, if I'm clipping or anything like that, um, because we're on the mics today, because it's so breezy. Um, so, uh, yeah, we thought we'd do three street food, f street food dishes. Cool, I haven't even had a drink yet. Um, so we're going to do uh, a curry, 60, a chicken 65 from Misty Ricardo's Curry Compendium. I think, oh, oh, I should go around a bit further. I think we've showed you this before, we've definitely showed you this before, but um, my favourite British Indian restaurant curry book. It's out of stock. It's out of print, um, but he does do two others. So I will link the two other books to the recipe or to the page. I'm not going to print the rest, put the recipe up because it's not mine. It's, it's his. Um, he's coming to do two cooking classes in May, which I'm really excited about as well. So we're doing curry 65 out of here, which is a street food dish. We've never done it before. So fingers crossed. Um, we are going to do some samosas. So some pea and potato samosas. And I think we did samosas ages ago using um, uh, proper wrappers, but we've made the pastry this time, so a little bit different. So we're going to do some samosas, and we're also going to do a, a parata uh, street food dish with some chicken on and so it's on. It's actually called a catty roll because you a put catty. egg on it. Okay, so it's a parata that you put egg on the top, then you seal the egg, and then you put all the chicken and stuff on that. Now, you may have noticed that Helena is on the microphone, and that's because come in and grab it she's also on the camera um so uh yeah we are 50 percent down 50 percent down today mama is at home um probably drinking anyway and is she on she's mama is on yeah, yeah. mama's on so what are you drinking this morning mama tell us hopefully cups of tea or something not you're not on the pop already at home and andrea's not here either she's at home so um Anyway, we're 50% down, so there'll be no typing today. So if there are any questions, Helena will try and read them and, and so on. Yeah, so no, there'll be no comments generally, yeah. um, other than mum might, uh, yeah. uh, oh, might God. comment. Uh, yeah. oh, mum's on water. Oh, mum's on the water. Uh, okay, so perfect. Well, mum will note down any questions. I know she will. Right. Uh, so, um, yeah. And she'll probably also note down how many people are on, because she does that every week. Right, let's get cracking. So I'm going to make a sauce, the curry 65 sauce. So um, I've already made and, and marinated the chicken. So um, this has got some uh, tandoori masala on it, which gives it the, uh, is that right? Yeah, it gives it the red color. Have I got, or is that Kashmiri chili? Kashmiri chili, sorry. Uh, there's some, all sorts of garlic and lemon juice and some um, uh, fennel seeds and so on. It's all in the book. So get the book. Um, I'm not going to tell you everything, but that's the chicken. It's been marinating for a couple of hours. Uh, but we're going to go and make the sauce over here. And then we're going to make the chicken. So the chicken, so um, the guys who supplied our pergola, um, we had an issue with it the other day. The light stopped working. Well, the whole thing stopped working. Um, so Damien came out on, you know, I raised a, raised a help desk over Christmas and Damien came out on the first day of, um, of working day and fixed it, which was brilliant. So thank you very much to Garden House Design. Amazing service as ever. Um, so yeah, what are you I laughing love that. at? Kerry's put no adult supervision today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, no, I mean, we've not got any. Yeah, adults. oh us. Yeah, oh, I yeah. thought he, thought she meant that. Um, no, Darren no. was out. No, yeah. Darren's on. <laughs> Kerry's on. Uh, perfect. No adult supervision. No, it could all go really wrong today. There's no rushing back into the kitchen either. Well, right. I may have to, but you'll yeah, just have to yeah. take the camera. So, um, so Damien, who fixed the lights and fixed the roof. Um, told me he, he, he'd actually stumbled across one of our videos over Christmas and that he loves that book and he loves that curry. So this is, he told me about this one, so he, we're doing it for him. Anyway, right, um, I need a spoon or two. You probably want to go that side because you prefer it, okay. apparently. Um, in here, I'm just going to get some oil and then we can crack on. In here, I have just one of our little bolty pans. So I've been letting it warm up. There's nothing in it apart from I'm going to chuck in some oil. So a tablespoon and a half, something like that of oil. I'll pop that back on the table, otherwise I'll lose it. I know what I'm like. 
I'll grab a spoon. So we're just going to let that heat through. Now this pan is pretty warm. I'm going to go in there with some onion. How much? Uh, it's about a small onion, a whole small onion, about 80 grams, something like that, 80, 100 grams. So we're going to fry this off. So I'm just going to let that fry through. So this will take a couple of minutes. So while that's happening, what we can do is show you what else we've got set up. Okay. So I'll go to this egg. Um, we're going to do all our deep frying on here. First time I think I've not done it on that egg in the corner. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so we've got a wok on there. It's got oil in. My oil is at 178. I want about 180, 190. So not bad. So we will keep those settings. I'm just going to turn it down at the bottom because I've had it wide open. Um, if you remember, always keep your dial much lower than where you want it because the oil is right next to the, uh, right. Next to the coals. What you don't want is reading 180 up here because your oil will be at like 250, 300 degrees and you don't want to set it on fire. So just keep your egg down at around 140. That should mean your oil is at 180. So we've got that is set up. Over here... So out of practice on camera, sorry. <laughs> Over here, uh, about, it's just warming back up. I've just put in one of the Solid Technics bigger pans. Um, so it's a direct cook. I want this about 180. We're going to fry our parata in there. So, right, back. We're going to have to get a wiggle on today. We've got lots to cook. Okay, should I go do a few shout outs while you're doing this? Yeah, I'll okay. do this. So... I'm just going to put the, I'll put the pepper in there. Okay. Why do I think that's not the right... No, it's right. This should be green pepper, but I didn't have green, so I'm going yellow. Okay. There you go. Right, carry on. Shout uh, out. So, um, Phil has just joined. Uh, Morning, Hatchet. Phil, and I will contact you this week. I, I did clean the top of your unit. It's over there. Um, I need to take it all apart, and I need to arrange with you to deliver it. Uh, Hampshire Barbecues. Or... Morning, Hampshire Barbecue. Uh, Mark from Smoke Fine Food. Morning, Mark. Happy Doing some cr that that pate or whatever you call it, um, terrine, looked amazing last night. Uh, let it be me. Um, oh, I've put these in too early, by the way. Okay. They should have gone in after I fried some of the other bits. But oh, well, we'll, you we'll know, work hey. out. When do you ever follow a recipe? Yeah, uh, that's the trouble. We're trying to do them off the top of your head. Uh, I'll get these softened so, up. So, Mum and Nanny W. I'm, yeah. So I can't remember her name, but Mark and Ashley are playing golf. Wendy. Wendy, that's it, sorry. Stuart, risk it for brisket is on. Morning, Stuart. Uh, Finch and Fire. Happy New Year to you all, by the way. Jeanette Harvey. Morning, Kerry, Jeanette. Darren. Uh, Scary Prowler. Oh, Malloy's still Craft. don't like that. Still don't like that. <laughs> Malloy's Craft Butchery. Morning, Malloy's. We should come and get, we talked about this. I need to come and talk to you about a uh, dairy ex-dairy Galician steak at some point and I know you will have it so yes must catch up. John Pritchard, Craig Carver, uh, Andy Mayo, morning Darren morning, Cavosi, Fox Cubster, James Johnson, Martin Hawkins he says morning evening I think he might still be away. Morning are you still sunning yourself Martin? Uh, I have to say you and Franco have got all the all the moves down. Uh, Bernie Happy Morning, Hooker Barbecue. Oh, Alex Pemberton. Uh, Sue Stoneman. If I didn't... Right, I'm going to tip these out. Right, okay. Because I'm going to do the, her the Herbie the bit that I should have done first. Uh, They're softened, by the way. Right. right. I'll get a little bit more oil. Carlos. Montero. Yes. Morning, Carlos. Looking um, forward to skiing with you next. Well, we'll be we'll be at the airport this time next week. Rob's barbecue. Awesome. Right. But before you go too far, uh, we've got some cumin seeds, we've got some mustard seeds, and we've got some curry leaves. So they're going to go in. I'm just going to give those a very quick fry. Just so you know, Martin's in Koh Samui. Oh. And it's six thirty-nine. That's just not fair, is it? Koh Samui. <laughs> Koh Samui. You need to get on the little. Um, Jet boat and go over to Koh Tao. That was our favourite. Um, but yeah. Right, so what are we doing now? So these in. So I'm just going to 30 or 40 seconds, get the curry leaves going, get those mustard seeds popping, get the cumin seeds popping. Then we're going to go in. We'll have to go straight away. We've got some, about a table, a tablespoon, a teaspoon and a half of a mixture of ginger and garlic. It's about 
two parts ginger, one part garlic. And then we've got kasuri methi, which is fenugreek leaves. So they can it's go one in. one of our new favourites. Yeah, Misty Ricardo, Richard, seems to use it in every dish. And I have to say, it's epic. So we'll get those in there, we'll get those frying off. We just want that to get that um, garlic going. Oh, smells good. It does, it always smells so good. Give it 20 seconds. Okay. So what did everyone do for New Year? Was it manic? Did we have any stonking hangovers? Do we have any hangovers today? Have we all started dry January? We haven't. <laughs> Darren said dry January hasn't stopped raining yet. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we have here some uh, curry powder, uh, some, I'm going to get this wrong, this was coriander, we've got some turmeric, we've got some uh, uh, Kashmiri, Kashmiri, you'll have to look it up. So we'll get those on, get them in there cooking, our, bits of, our other bits of fry. Right, we have some chilli powder, some salt, some, and I'm going to keep these back, these little... Fresh chilli. Fresh chilli. So those can go in there. And what we want to do is start warming these up. Now, what you don't want to do is burn your spices. So, into it, we're going to tip about two tablespoons of water. Oh, <coughs> ah, that's always the way God, when you're cooking Indian. Now with the egg, can you see it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter in there? You do need to keep closing the lid and a quick tip, shut the bottom way more than you normally would want for the temperature you're after. Um, by the way, exciting news. Uh, the Big for Space, this is the Big for Space 150 designed for the large big green egg. Um, we're taking pre-orders because the prototype is out and they're in manufacturing now of the Big for Space 180, which is for all of you with XL eggs. Um, so they're up on the website. I will be sending out a MailChimp today. We've got a special offer on them for pre-order. So if you pre-order them, you'll get a free cover. So the cover goes over the whole unit. I'm gonna go back in with these now. I'm probably doing this all backwards, but anyway. Sorry, uh, Misty Ricardo, if you're on. Making a right hash of your recipe. So those can go in, we'll go in with those. No, the chili's going at the end. So, just want to get all of those flavours going through. And this is just a sauce, would you believe? This isn't the whole recipe. Whew, that's kicking out. Right, give that a couple of seconds. I'm just going to go and get a tiny bit more water. Okay. So, any other shout outs, questions? Okay, uh, well, no questions yet. Uh, no questions? No, no questions. No hangovers? Well, no, seemingly not. There's a lot of talk around not doing completely dry January, but damp. Just so just, just raining it in a little bit. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. been doing that. Yeah. Monday to Wednesday off, I've been told. Minimum. Minimum. Not on skiing holidays, obviously. Right. So into this, we need to start making our sauce now. So I've got two and a half tablespoons of tomato ketchup which comes out of a shot glass about as easily as it comes out of a bottle. <laughs> you might I, pour a little bit of water in there. Unfortunately, you can't. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You yeah, can't squeeze the middle. Ha, 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 ha. Right, that can oh, go in. So, uh, uh, a teaspoon of soy sauce. A bit of lemon juice. John, I'll come back to your question in a minute. Obviously not the pips. Let's get that turning. Now, what you're supposed to do with this next stage it's like sweet and soury. So this is, this is the chicken 65? This is the chicken 65 sauce. Okay. So I'm going to take it off for a bit, let that egg cool down a bit. But what we want to do into that sauce, yeah, sorry, I've stuck a table behind. I've got about three tablespoons of natural yogurt and some honey. So a couple of teaspoons of honey and put that in. What you don't want to be doing is putting that on when it's red hot because it will just split. So, stir that in. So this is the first part, and I'm gonna leave this off for a bit, okay. because I'll reheat it in a bit. Morning, Alex. So let me just, I'm gonna grab a little spoon, see what it tastes like. Two spoons. No, just the one. You can't have any. Food. 
Mm. There you go. Mm. Oh, wow. That's nice. All right. Mm. It's not the colour. Oh, you can put red food colouring in if you want it the colour that is on the book. So I'll just prop it over here. Right, that's the first part. Okay, so, yeah. quick question. What yep. happened to the whole rump you cooked? Oh, I've forgotten to put the chilies. The whole rump was... What happened? They got devoured. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to put those chilies in and I'll get the spoon and stir them through. Um, they had quite the party in the garden on uh, Christmas Day. Oh, my word. We've done one since, so we did, we did own up to spraying beer all over the garden and having very loud music and... But it was really, really good. Yeah, yeah so the rump was awesome. Um, so it came out very much like a picanha, so rare all the way through. Absolutely delicious. Right, what are we going to do next? You're getting your coffee. I'm I'll blow my nose. Coffee. And then should we stir fry those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that first. Right, so we have our chicken... Uh, I'll keep that to one side. We have our chicken and we have in here, uh, this is about three tablespoons of corn flour, one tablespoon of plain flour, and that's going to go into our chicken and we're going to coat it. So I'm just going to mix it up. And then we're going to deep fry this. So you need about 190. We're probably not going to be far off. I might do this in two batches. I was say, the key with deep frying, isn't it? Don't put too much in. Yeah, you don't want to drop the temperature too much. And putting all of this in one go would drop it quite a lot. So. You know what? We don't bring any plates out. Sorry? We don't bring any plates out. No, we're going straight on our board. Right. Morning, Ben. 199. A little bit over. So I'm going to lower this in on our... Sprinkle it in. Do it in about... I'll do it in two halves. It's not going to take long at all. And we'll just separate it out. So this is a little Indian street food snack. Yeah, so it's just, this is um, the marinated chicken in just spices. Um, and then we put on that flour on here. I'll wash my hands in a sec when we take it out. This is going to turn it nice and crispy on the outside. Now it might go a little bit less crispy as we go through, but we've got a lot to do. So, right. This won't take long, this will take two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I could prep for the other thing while we're at it. No, oh, no, well, we'll be all right. Let's give it a zhuzh. I don't want it to stick together. You see it's already oh. starting to crisp up. Damien called it chicken nuggets. Oh, okay. So he said, have you done chicken? He said, yeah, have you done chicken 65? It's a bit like chicken nuggets with a curry sauce. Maybe so. the kids won't like the curry sauce, but they'll love the chicken. <laughs> Yeah, but these have got a little bit of chilli on them, a little bit of punch. Oh, so the chicken, uh, yeah. Got you see? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm using thigh. You can use, uh, you can use breast meat. They're about two centimetre chunks. We always use thighs. It's cheaper. It's much nicer. Yeah. Full of flavour. Yeah, exactly. Right, let's get one of those up and just see how far they've cooked already. Um, it's chicken. You need it above 74 degrees. I've put 90 already. Let's go for a fat one. 90. So I'm going to say, you're right, I didn't bring a plate right, to I'm get them out on. Yeah, you take the camera. I'll, just, I'll tell you what, I'll put them in this flour one. It's only had flour on. Okay. They're fine. So for those that have joined more recently, we're kind of 50% of our teams, right? And Mum and Andrew are both under the weather, so they're staying at home today. So you just got. Rusty camera girl. And it doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ooh, one, one jumped out there. They so. look good. Yeah, let them cool down. They're at 90 odd oh, no, degrees, I'll, I'll so do not jump on those. And, no, don't the tongue. But a little bit of crispy goodness. They do look lush. So we'll pop those over there. I don't know why I put them over there, because I've got to put the other ones in, haven't I? Duh. And then we'll get onto the, the other two dishes. This is so easy. Now we're going to use the wok again because we're going to make the samosas. So I've made a few already. Um, I've got a little bit of dough to show you how to make them. I've got one I've already rolled out. 
uh, and we've got the filling already done. But we'll public the filling is so easy. It's just peas, a few curry spices, some potatoes that are part cooked or pre cooked, and then you chop them up nice and fine. I'll show you what it looks like, and then you stuff that in. We'll roll these out, and I'll show you how you stuff them. Um, and then we're going to deep fry those. So, well, you're going to use the same oil. Look at those. Oh, I can feel that's not quite as done. That's uh, yeah, a bit softer. Another minute. Do you think they've cooled? You can taste test first. Mm. They're hot, but not. They won't burn you. Take that little one there. Oh. Mm. So they're not super spicy, but they'll be nice with the curry sauce over. <laughs> well, that's hot. No. Oh. Um. Mm. People asking questions mm -hmm. while you're chomping away. No. Rob's come up with them. Um, we've started the jokes first. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Rob. What have we got today? Hey, Jude. What kind of bread would you like with your curry? How bad does the song go, then go? Na, na. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm hopeless. I'm not very good at words. No. I loved it because I could see it. Um, yeah, 50. Rob. Yeah, very good. That's, that <laughs> chicken is super tasty. Yeah, how easy is that? And to do that on your egg, fry it outside. If you've got an air fryer, I'm sure you could do it in an air fryer. Much better deep fried. Do it on your egg. Super safe. But use your wok. We're going to do some more stir fries over the next few weeks, months. Um, because we, we went out for Thai yesterday and it's, we haven't done much Thai. So we could do some nice Thai dishes as well. Simple Thai. Yeah. Since we love Thai. Yeah, Helena doesn't work Fridays, so we took... That's, what, this is taking a little while. Um, 70 degrees. So we took the opportunity to have... Go out. Right, where should we go? Let's finish these and then we'll... Okay. We'll just sort of You're twiddle our thumbs. Yeah, we're all right. We've got plenty of time. Those are only a matter of just dumping okay. them in. Just stop opening this room. Well, no, opening it's actually going to warm it up because it will let the air get underneath. Let's just see what our temperature our oil's at. Yeah, so it's pulled the oil down to 140 yeah. degrees. So just That's that's good, so we can get on the other stuff, the oil will heat back up again, yeah. and then we can do yeah. the samosas at the end. We're good. It's rock and roll. Then we've got our curry sauce to put back on yeah. to go over them. Oh, yeah, this, this second batch was bigger, hence it's dropped the temperature down so much. These ones, what we should have done is set up an egg at 110. We could add it as a warming drawer. Oh next time just checking <laughs> mm. they're good mm. right thanks Damien for the recommendation yeah yeah we're good up above 80 so take these off let them so if you're worried about your oil you could just filter it afterwards um, don't throw it away, just carry on using it. Right, those are going to sit. We'll, we'll, we'll reheat those. I'll put them back in in a bit. Right, they're good. So let's get on with our other sauce. Right. right. So let me just clear up a tiny bit. Mm, radical. Just because I want to use the same space. Okay. I'll pop this on the end over here. Right. You, so, might you might actually have to help with clearing up duty today. I know. Washing up. Cool. Just got a bit of fennel from that one. Oh, that's delish. Um, so again, we're going to use one of our Birmingham Balti Bowls. So we'll go in, go in with a good few tablespoons. This is just veg oil. Come on. There we go. So we're doing the sauce first or the chicken? Uh, the sauce with the chicken. Now, this isn't a Misty Ricardo. Okay. This is... Um, We're inspired by a book. Yeah, inspired by a book. Let's just put it like that. So, we are uh, going to fry off our onions. So, in here, I've got a whole onion. I've got about a teaspoon of salt. I've got some ginger and garlic. So, all of that can go in. And this is going to take a little while. So, while that fries off... We'll go and make, show you how we make our samosas. Okay. Right. Good. That will come back up to 180. What state are you? Ah, you know. <laughs> Get I so much grief. 
No adult supervision and look at the state of you. I'm always dirty. <laughs> you know that. Right. Um, so uh, this is just a very simple dough. It's flour, uh, baking powder, a little bit of salt uh, and water. I think that was it. Um, so just a dough. We made it. Got some coriander stuck in it. We made it last night. Um, and then chopped up into about 10 of these, this size. So it's about a 40, 45 gram ball. Um, I'll show you and then we'll just roll them out. That one's just in case. So put a bit of flour on the chopping board, get your ball nice and round, squash it down. Now we did this with, um, I tried this the other day, uh, yesterday with the tortilla press. So it does work, sort of, but it doesn't get it thin enough. So just roll these out, keep them floured. Oop. Need to flam a rolling pin. Put some on there. And just get these, we want these roughly circular. And about 10, 12, 15 centimetres. The bigger they are, the more filling you can get in. But the thinner they'll be. Alex, fire away with your question, and then I can ask Nick when we've got an appropriate there you go. slot. Right. So, one nice round dish pastry dish. Um, then we're going to chop it in half. Okay, two half moons. Then what we have over here, probably shouldn't put that on that lovely new board. Let have to, anyway, um, this, is the, this is the chopping board that came with the island. Um, I, this is the pea and potato mix. So there, obviously there's turmeric in there that makes it yellow, there's garlic, there's ginger, uh, there's some coriander, some cumin powders, uh, a bit of garam masala, a uh, bit of chilli, and we're going to use that to fill it. So what Corning, you, Cornish, Cornish carnival. Sorry, think of my words out So there. what you do here, um, put it on your hand with the round side pointing towards you, and then fold over a corner, and you'll get a little triangle. You can then put a little bit of water down that edge of that triangle. Does that make sense? Yeah? And then you can fold the other triangle over, make sure you get the bottom sealed. And what, then what you can do is open this out a little bit. making a little pocket. Yeah. Now, if you've got a little, that extra flappy bit, put a bit more water in there. But now you've got a little cone that we can put stuff in. So we're going to feed a teaspoon, teaspoon and a bit of this in. Don't go too mad. Keep a bit around the top. And then again, water around half of it. You can go a bit further if you want. And then we're going to seal it up. Make sure you haven't got too much air in there. Does that make sense? And you'll get a mini samosa. Now, if you wanted to do bigger ones, you could do bigger ones. So we'll do that. We'll do the other one. So I'll do it again. So um, fold it up to the middle. Alex Pemberton. Yep. Morning, oh, Alex. He's buying a new house. Lucky you. Uh, and he Oop. said he's thinking of buying the XXL, where he can use half the smaller crocs and, and then a full egg for the bigger crocs. If bigger cooks. Crocs. <laughs> crocs. Are there any disadvantages to the XXL? Uh, yeah, it's not great to cook on, in my opinion. It's just. And you'll have fewer options for accessories. There's maybe. very few accessories. Uh, can I suggest offline conversation? Yeah, give Alex, me a shout, Alex, because. And we'll talk you. Yeah, talk through some I would buy. It's very expensive. Um, is there anything you can't do in your extra, extra large? Um, I'm, I'll happily sell you one, but they are huge. Absolutely huge. Difficult to control. <coughs> difficult or more difficult to control. Um, parts for them, really expensive. Uh, you're not going to get things like uh, expander baskets, but you probably don't need an ex uh, the expander system because it's so big. Um, okay, we'll take it. Yeah, to yeah. Right. So again, squeeze it shut, and we have a second samosa. Awesome. So now I've got a whole plate of them in there, but I'm not going to do them all. But let's go back to this sauce. Right. So it needs a bit more. So I'm going to go and fry some while this does its bit.
yeah, I'd probably go two XLs or three larges or, you know, you get much more flexibility having more eggs than okay, one big one. You, it's all right, we've said enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have I put him off? No. I'll probably... I, I made uh, a, why am I going there? Um, I made a gaffe when I was talking, oh. <laughs> which was rude. <laughs> oh, what did you say? I'm not going to repeat it. Oh, okay. But... Um, my fr my friends in the audience have uh, find oh. it funny. Does it mean now I've got to own up on YouTube that something rude was said? I, d I don't think it'll be taken out of context. Oh, That's okay. Fine. All right. Right, we're going to pop these in. So again, we want the oil nice and hot. So we're at 190. Let's get some. You get bits. Look, we've got a few. Um, a few of the fennel seeds just come off. Let's take them out and put them in there. Um, but I'm going to lower these in. Now, hopefully this isn't too hot because it is a bit warm. We'll find out. But it will drop the temperature. So right, let's just lower them in. These are the ones I made earlier. Just... If you budge over a bit. Yeah. If I take these, yeah. popping them in, they're going to take two or three minutes each. So while that sauce is doing its business, we'll yeah. do the first oh, batch. I wouldn't put any more in I'm going to put one more in because it's a little bit hot and it will cool down the okay. oil a little bit. So can, you, can you see that they already puff up quite quickly? Yeah. Nice. So keep the lid shut. If you leave the lid open, it's going to get hotter and hotter. I've got something caught in that. There we okay. go. No. Um, it'll get hotter and hotter. This is going to have to go back in. We'll refry it again just to Tell warm you what, it back up. Do you up. want to just take this for a minute? Because I need to go and get a plate because you haven't got a plate. What for? Put the snozers on. I'll put them on straight on the board. Okay. Yeah. Don't need to make washing up. I've got to do it today. <laughs> You know, if oh, Mama and Andy were here, all about you. Though. If Mama and Andy were here, then uh, you know, let's get several plates out. <laughs> Mum. So I'm going to flip them over. Look at these. Oh. Of course, if you make them early, you could put them in the oven just to reheat them. Yeah, I think I That'd read that you can freeze them, um, but you, that you're best to. Freeze them in a single layer first. Okay. Uh, uh, flat. What? Uh, uncooked? Uh, no, I think you can do them cooked. Oh, okay. Or I guess. I guess I'd do them uncooked. And yeah. Then... But if you freeze them in a single layer, then they won't stick together, okay. and then you can take them out and bag them up. Look at those. Just giving you my top tip. There. None of them are popped open because we sealed them nicely. Give them a couple of minutes. Right. Let's go and have a look at that. Blend See this. Don't, don't let me forget them in about a minute. Right. Uh, Mum's just said cheeky. I know that's all I'm good for. That and making me go and deliver a paper every day. <laughs> Although we're not doing it till May. <laughs> right, that's softened up nicely. So what we want to do, add our chicken in. We want to start browning that up. Right, okay. you need to go back to the samosas. Chicken going in. Maybe we should have gone up for a bigger pan on this one. But anyway, we are where we are. We'll just see what happens. Right, let's open this up. Let's warm it up a bit. Back to our samosas. Don't need that glove. Oh, they're looking perfect. Now, I'm going to take them out. About another minute on the other side just to brown them off perfectly. That one has got so much air, it's lovely. Oh, I'm looking forward to these. What are you laughing at? Mum says, all right, big boy, I've got the message. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. Hope you're feeling okay today, Yeah, it's got a bit of an ear infection. All right, I'll come back for the others. So you didn't want her out in the cold. Are you just going to drip that all across my patio? Yeah. <laughs> I'll put them in there, shall I? I don't mind. Whatever. You're going to do what you're going to do. <laughs> Awesome. Well done. Get the last one out. We'll cut these open in a bit so you can see. I'm not going to grab that because that might be a, bit hot. a zillion degrees. Shall I cook the others? We'll do them later. I'll do them later. Do them later, yeah. yeah. So at least we'll have some hot ones for later. Right, close that up. Let's go and do that. is taking ages. What I might do is use that pan over there. So the pan over there is at 180 and it's got nothing in. Mm. Okay, right, I'm coming through. Yeah. Cool. 
That's more like it. So we'll make it in here. And then we'll put the sauce back in there. We'll put chicken back in there. Lush. Right, let's open that up. Let's get it nice and hot. Because what we're going to do, we're going to put the parata in there as well. And we're going to put egg on it. Yeah. So let's show that. Oh, I should have done those two, shouldn't I? I'll put them on that plate. So, we have these beautiful parata, which we're going to cook. We're just going to take one. Um, we bought pre-booked, bought, I think we've made them in the class before, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. We cooked before, so we've got pre-booked, pre-bought. We're going to just chuck them on, warm them up, and then we're going to turn it, uh, put egg on this side, then turn it over and cook the egg on it. But I need to cook that curry I first. I mean, I think you turn it back, don't yeah. you, and yeah. have that egg on the inside. But you can do it, if you, obviously, if you don't like eggs or... Yeah, you don't have you to use the egg. Have eggs, then you don't have to. But yeah. that's, what that's what makes it from roti into a cutty bowl. That's better. Starting to get a bit of colour. A little bit. Right. See, that's warming up nicely underneath. So we'll fire it up in a minute. So to go with that, this is really, really quite simple. We've just got um, some cumin, some coriander, some turmeric. Uh, sorry, some... Come in some turmeric, some garam masala, some tomato puree, uh, a little red chilli chopped up. That's all going to go in there. I'm going to put a squeeze of lemon through it. Uh, we've got some uh, mango chutney to go on the top. And we've got a red onion pickle that we made. So while those are starting to brown, I might get the spices in there to go with them. All right, tomato puree is always good cooked down a little bit. Sweetens it, get those flavours on the ch on the chicken. Smelling good. Smells lush. All right, give that a few minutes. Right. Oh, uh, so I think Damien's on. Morning, Damien. Uh, it says, cut her. hope the electrics are holding out. It's awesome. Thank you very much. Well, yeah, we had a bit of... the lights are on, don't you? We had a bit of water ingress. Um, so I'm going to put this back on to heat back up. Okay. Up so I'm going to turn this egg down a lot. We'll pop it in there and that can heat up. I'll probably burn it. I'll put the chicken back in in a second. We might do a hot smoke. Well, because you could just not put that chicken back in on a... I could on put it in there. Well, no, it's not on a metal tra yeah. plate. Oh, I could put... I'll tell you what. Steal that. Was the chicken cooked in there though? Is it not cross? Oh, I'll just put it in and heat it up. Okay. It'll be fine. It's going to get hot. Okay. It's going to get baking hot. That can all go in and. Morning, Nige. We are just up on there. Oh. some Indian street food. So that's some chicken 65 and the curry sauce that goes with it. Nige. Uh, cook. cook. Morning, Nigel. Where are you? Are you in Northern Ireland? Are you in the van? Are you out and about? Are you at home? Where have I just put my spoon? Over there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am so out of practice on camera. You are. Oh. Right. Right, that's looking. Of course, now we've used this pan, we're scuppered a bit, but we'll work it out. Right, another five on that, and that should be good. want to make sure that chicken's cooked. Right, let's, now they're, they're good. Uh, those are good. So we can, let's get a little bit of, start making these look pretty. So let's cut one of these open so you can see uh, what was on there. Nothing yet. Oh, nice. It's a little bit of pea and potato samosas. I'm going to get a little bit of uh, pickle. Good morning, Steve. A little bit of mango chutney to go with them. Can't be a bit of chutney. Good 
love these are going to be so sticky now I've done that a uh, bit of bit of coriander over them so that's dish one do we need to try one so I make some more I'm going to pop another couple in no because I'll only forget them won't I yeah you can come back yeah right, right. this uh, the pastry John was uh, one we made um, yeah. A little word of advice, don't use phyllo pastry, it doesn't work so well. Wink, wink, Phil. Um, he used phyllo pastry and it didn't work at all well. Oh, did he not? No. Um, oh. so it's a very, but it's a very simple um, recipe, so we'll get that up Yeah, today. super, super easy. Yeah, dough, we made the dough last night in a few minutes, so it doesn't have to sit for very long. Yeah, it's just water. Just, it's just water. It was uh, 250 grams of flour, 125 grams of water, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate, one tea, uh, baking not powder. baking powder, sorry, one teaspoon of salt, and that was it. Mix it up, knead it, put it in the fridge 30 minutes, or put it on, no, not even on the fridge, 20 minutes on the countertop, yeah, and, and, done, and then you can split it, and it makes about 10. Yeah, and the key is just making sure when you have rolled it out, and then make your little pockets that you seal it with Looks. water. The first batch we did last night, we had I'm a just lot gonna of grab filling a in, uh, um, We had a lot of filling that, it, they popped, but we've kind of, so just... Have a little play and do maybe do one to see that you've got your... An eye on there. Yep, done. 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 They're all done. I'm going to pop those in a bowl. What about this bowl? We've had spices. No, it's not big enough. Oh, hello. This has Sorry. just had our chicken in it, so our cooked chicken, so that's fine. Uh, I think it was... Uh, I might just try and scoop it out. With a scoop. Plain flour, Jeanette. Yeah, it's plain flour. It was. But we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get the recipe up for this. this I'll get it up this afternoon. I've got an afternoon of work to do because uh, we've got to get the, the offer up for the um, uh, extra large big for spaces. And a walk. We've got to do a walk, apparently. <laughs> oh, that smells delish. It's doing up the camera. Right, I'm just going to wipe this out with the... Because it's the same pan, yeah, I'm just yeah. going to wipe it out with a bit of uh, blue roll. We'll get that parata in there. Yeah. I'm interested to try this, see what it comes out like, isn't it? Yeah, this one's uh, another off on the fly one. Because this week has been mad, I don't know why. Shabab's in Birmingham and said they'll employ you. Who's that? Who's that? Shabab's in Birmingham. <laughs> Who's Shabab? Right. I think there might be a restaurant. Yeah. Wow. In we go with our parata. Chuck that in. Give that a couple of minutes and then we've got an egg wash here. So we're going to stick it on the other side and then flip it over. So I'll get my basting brush. Now obviously you won't try and make all three of these in 45 minutes like a madman, like me. Oh, that should be good. Morning, my drink? Ross. Ross. From Rome Catering. Morning Ross, how are you? Happy New Year. Doris knew best. I think that is something to do with Franco. Uh, that might be Alison, don't know. What's that? Was it? Uh, 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 Doris knew best has just joined. Oh, okay. So, right, so this is the... Right, so you can see this. What we're trying to do, cook this, I might have cracked it a tiny bit, but oh, it's crisping up nicely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right, I'm going to paint it in a second. Give it another second. Oh, yeah. Just feel it. It's starting to soften. It was quite a crisp. It's starting to soften. All the oils in there are softening it up. Then we're going to paint it with a bit of egg, flip it over, cook the egg side down, flip it back, and then serve excited it with all that to stuff. Try this. Huh? I'm excited to try this. Yeah. We've got some pickle to go with it. Right. Oh, I haven't painted it. Let's paint it. So get a bit of egg wash. You can be quite liberal with this, because th that will all cook nicely. Never tried this, have we? No. Nope. Right. Oh, I bet you could have done with a flipper. I could have done with a flipper, but we'll go with this. Oop. Just releasing it off the bottom of the pan. While you talk to people, I'm going to run and get the flipper. Okay. Right. You run and get the flipper. I'll remember right. I've so got the mic on. This is the chicken that's going to go in the 
uh, roti or catty roll as it becomes known when you add egg onto the burrata. Um, We've made some um, samosas and then over in this other egg we've got keeping warm the oh chicken 65 and the curry sauce which bit of burning on the bottom of that will be lush yeah. right are you ready I like that right okay come on, come on. flip it back over nice. eggs cook nicely Right, let's go and... Oh, we haven't got a plate, have we? No, I'm going to go straight on the board. Okay. No point messing up a plate. Mama's not here. We've done that bit. <laughs> right, that's that. Let's get some chicken on there. Still beautifully hot. So you could roll this up a bit yeah, like so a... that's what you're supposed to do, yeah. roll it and eat it like a... Yeah. It's supposed to be like a breakfast brunch. Okay. okay. I'll take another spoon. I've got some... Um, so this is just a pickle of red onion, a bit of mint, a bit of lime, a bit of chilli powder. Ooh. Give it a bit of kick. Now I've got a bit more mint over here. So I'm going to put a bit of that on. Just to make it look pretty. And then we'll get our last curry out. Looks nice. Curry 65 coming up. Enjoy the rest of your holiday, Martin. Yeah. Oh, lucky man. Right. Can't move those up too far, can I? Right, so a bit like chicken nuggets, crispy on the outside. Leave some of this in here. Right. Bit of our sauce now. You, if you put red food colouring in, it'd be bright red, which is how it looks in the book. Oh my goodness, that smells. That amazing. smells incredible. <laughs> right, take that out of the way. A little bit of coriander on that. Might just get a few more chunks of chicken. Right. Oh, gotta have a bit of. I've forgotten to put this in something. Got to have a bit of mango by that. I'm going to put a bit of mango over the top. Everybody loves mango chutney. Perfect. Ooh. Messy. Hang on one sec. And we'll get that cleaned so that's up. the chicken catty roll. There you go. Chicken 65 with the sauce and the vegetables that pea and potatoes. Let's potato. go. There you go. Bit of natural light on them. So... Um, a road, uh, what do you call it? A catty, catty roll, roll, chicken catty roll. Uh, then in the middle we've got our chicken 65. Hopefully I've done justice to that, Misty Ricardo and or and Damien because he put me onto it. And then our samosas, and we're going to make some more of those for later. That's our food done. But three quick um, Indian snacks all done on the egg. Um, so yeah, thank you. Uh, we will not be back for two weeks, three weeks now. Uh, so I think it's the last week. It's just after Burns Night. So some I'm people... Only wait for two weeks. Yeah, two weekends though. Yeah. yeah. So I'll miss two weekends uh, while I'm off skiing. Uh, it's going to snow all week in Val d'Isere. So it's going to be awesome. Um, there is going to be snow. Because uh, you might have seen on the weather reports that some of the Alps are really suffering. Where I'm going, it's all right. So... Um, yeah, I will send out the offer on those tables. I will contact Phil about... It delivering his uh, big green egg have run out of rotisseries and are going to be out of stock for months um, I shouldn't say that should I um, let's queue we've got in stock uh, we'll be getting a whole load more as soon as I'm back from holiday uh, and including the tandoor rings 
the Tandor skewers that go on top. They're just waiting for the skewers to come in. They've got the ring, they've got the boxes, just missing the skewers at the moment. So as soon as they're in, I'm get, getting another big delivery, and so we'll have lots of those. Um, Burns Night, we may do something haggisy. I don't know yet. We'll work that bit out. And if you need anything else, just give us a shout. Um, yeah. Mark, it's not both of us going. No, a pass it's out. just me. I'm going with the boys. So I'm going with. with ski wife. I've got my ski wife Paul, who's often on here. He's, you know, we share a room. <laughs> um, so yeah, Paul and Carlos, who's on, is coming with us, and uh, yeah, yeah, it should be a, a bit of a hoot. Right. Thank you for watching, guys. We will see you in three weekends. That's right. Yeah. Have a good one.